Welcome back. So in the state of California, you are not allowed to go outside unless you're an elected official on the way to the French Laundry in Napa, in which case, totally cool, no problem. Not everyone's for this. Some people are protesting it. At least one person has thought of a creative, affirming way to express his displeasure. He is the actor Kirk Cameron. This month, he organized events that brought together hundreds of Christmas carolers to celebrate Christmas. Watch. Kirk Cameron joins us now. Kirk, that is my single favorite protest I've ever seen. I love that. <laughs> How did you think of that? Oh, Tucker, first of all, it is a pleasure to be talking with you. Uh, you. You know, we've all heard of the masked singer and it's all the rage. But ever since I started caroling in my community, I've been affectionately dubbed by many in the press as the unmasked singer. And I've triggered a whole different kind of rage. I, I think maybe if we weren't so joyful and so happy that and we were maybe angrier and smashed some windows and looted some stores, then maybe we wouldn't have been called so dangerous by the press. Well, I think you're exactly right. And, and how great to hear Christmas carols. The saddest part of this season is the ban on singing that you see everywhere. Churches, there's no singing in churches. And Christmas carols <clears throat> define this holiday for so many of us. Good for you. That's right. You know, it, it's devastating what we see. And, and I'm no Scrooge. I, I'm going to sing Christmas carols. But but I also understand that I'm not a health professional. And so right. I look to the doctors at Harvard University, Oxford University, like Dr. Kulldorff, Dr. Kupta, the authors of the great Barrington Declaration. If people yes. haven't read that, you should read it. It's very educational. And uh, they basically tell us that the, the lockdowns are causing far more harm than the virus itself. There is immunity in community. There is devastation in isolation. And everyone can came to this caroling event by choice. They did a risk reward analysis and they said, we're coming to an event, we're not afraid of a virus that has a over a 99% survival rate. Amen. Well, I'm doing this in my house tomorrow night because there's no church that's singing where I am and we're singing at my house. I really believe in this. Well, what, Tucker, what kind of response did you get? Tucker, uh, we've had an amazing response. It's actually been underreported. We've not just had 75 or 100. We've had upwards of 1,000 people come uh, to sing carols because they're, they're wanting hope and community. But I do want to give you one big warning disclaimer. If you come caroling uh, under a starry night sky and a candle lit um, uh, lyric sheets and you have the U.S. Constitution illuminated by those candles like we do, you might catch the hope virus and it's very contagious. Your heart will swell, your fears will diminish, and you might feel compelled to love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Your heart will swell, your fears will diminish, and you might feel the impulse to love your neighbor as yourself. That is just, you just encapsulated Christmas more crisply and more beautifully than I've heard it in a long time. And I really appreciate it. Kirk Cameron, thank you for joining us tonight. And God bless you for what you're doing. Thank you, Tucker. God bless you for your courage.